Hey guys, welcome back to the Guitar and Harmonica YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be working with the movable boogie woogie bass pattern that we looked in, uh, worked on in the previous video. Uh, we're going to shift keys. We were in the key of A. We're going to move it down two frets to the key of G uh, today. So uh, I've got a C harmonic in the rack. And um, I just want to emphasize one more time that the cool thing about this uh, boogie woogie bass pattern is it's really easily adapted to any key you're in. Uh, so if you're on stage, you're playing with the band and they holler out any key, uh, you can um, ad adapt this to, to whatever key the band wants you to play in, whether it's F or G or A or B or so on, uh, just by um, name, using the low E string to... to uh, to name the key that you're in. All right. So now, uh, we're, the other thing we're going to do here today uh, is combine chugs one, two, and three. Uh, anytime chugs one, two, and three that we've been working on, um, all into one uh, 12 bar uh, 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 blues pattern. All right. Um, so getting right to the guitar here, like I say, we're in G. So I want you to strike the low E string at the third fret twice. And then the D string uh, fifth fret, and then the D string third fret, and then the A string fifth fret. So for the one chord, you have. All right, now for the fourth, uh, the C, you're going to drop down towards the floor string on the A string uh, third fret, and then the G string fifth fret, G string third fret and D string fifth fret. So you have back to the one, and then to the five, to the, to the D chord, we're gonna move up to the fifth fret, A string, and then the seventh fret, G string, fifth fret, G string, and seventh fret, D string. So you have down to the C, back to the G, back to the five for our turnaround chord. All right, now let's go to the chugs. The uh, Again, I'm just reviewing this real quick with you. Uh, if you need to, go back, check out the previous videos on uh, chugs one, two, and three. Uh, chug number one, we're going to use hot ta hidi uh, as our articulations. We're going to breathe in twice on the one, two, three hole, and then out twice on the two, three, and four hole. That's our first two beats. Our third beat, we're gonna use the articulation hot ta. We're gonna inhale twice on the one, two, three hole. So we have. And on beat four, we're gonna play a triplet on holes two, three, four. Our breathing pattern is out, in, out. We're gonna use the articulation he, ha, he. So we have. All right, anytime chug number two, uh, we're going to use hot Tahiti again as our articulations. We're going to inhale twice on holes one, two, three, and then out twice on holes one, two, three. We're going to move to hole number one. We're going to use the hot ta articulation and we're going to inhale twice. So we, the first three beats. We're going to move back to holes one, two, and three. We're going to use the articulation heaty, and we're going to exhale twice. So anytime chug number two. All right, anytime chug number three, we're going to use hot tahiti again. We're going to inhale twice on holes one, two, three, and then exhale twice on holes one, two, three. We're going to move to hole number one for the third beat. We're going to uh, inhale twice, uh, articulating hot ta. So we have. And then on the fourth beat, we're going to play a triplet. On holes one, two, three, we're going to use the articulation he, ha, he. We're going to breathe out, in, out. So we have. Those are our three chugs. We're going to go ahead and play those over the 
uh, movable boogie woogie bass pattern in the key of G. And uh, one other thing I want to I want you to listen for. Um, I'm going to use anytime chug number one over the one chord, the G. I'm going to use anytime chug number two over the C chord, over the four. And then I'm going to use anytime chug number three over the four chord or the, the D chord. All right. All right. Let's give it a whirl. time I may sound like a broken record on this but this is just a springboard for you an exercise to build up your uh, independence between your guitar and, and harmonica playing and uh, once you start slow with this because it can be very tricky um, build up speed build up your tempo and uh, once you start like you f you're feeling like you got the hang of it uh, go ahead and start getting creative use your own licks on guitar in your own harmonica licks, um, add those in there. That's when it gets starts to get exciting and, and more fun. But this is a real great uh, basic exercise for you to, like I say, start building up that independence between the two instruments, all right? Have fun with it, most importantly. Um, I'm gonna be back real soon uh, with a whole nother uh, walking uh, bass pattern on guitar and a brand new boogie for us to, uh, or a harmonica chug for us to work on, all right? This is gonna be, Anytime uh, chug number four that we're going to uh, start working on. Alrighty, again, have fun with this. Please, if you do like what we're doing here, I'd love it if you uh, join the channel, uh, subscribe to the channel here. Um, check us out on Facebook at Guitar and Harmonica. And uh, also go to our website if you'd like to check out uh, the whole series of books, uh, um, rack up method books and single note method books devoted to guitar and uh, harmonica playing, all right? Uh, that's at uh, guitarandharmonica.com. All right, thanks again for listening. We'll see you again real soon.